Okay, so I finally got the Steam Deck to turn on the TV with the video receiver. So I have my controller. So the moment I pick this up, it's gonna automatically turn on its activated Bluetooth function, which will then turn on the Steam Deck. And now we're able to see the TV just turned on, the receiver turned on, and we're waiting a few seconds for the TV to automatically flip to the Steam Deck uh, input. Now, this was not easy to uh, figure out how to do this right the first time because the, uh, the there's a few steps you need to do. So let, let's just go through what you need to do. So first thing, you're gonna hit the either the Steam button, right, first. We're gonna start off here. Um, so when I say Steam button, that's the Steam button you need to do. So first, when you get your official Steam dock, by the way, this only works with the official Steam dock, don't connect it to any TV source or anything. Just connect it through the, the power and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna pretend I'm on the actual screen of the deck. So on the screen of the deck, you're gonna go to settings, and then you're gonna go to um, developer, Make sure your developer mode is turned on. I think actually you need to go to um, you need to go to system, and then you need to go yeah you need to click enable developer mode. Once you click enable developer mode, these two options are going to be available for you. So you want to first select the preview channel for the update channel, and then you want to click the Steam client update channel to Steam Deck beta. Once you do that, um, it's going to ask you to install some updates. It's gonna say that there are updates gonna be available. Go ahead and apply all of the updates. And then it's gonna tell you that you have an update available for the Steam Deck dock. You also wanna enable that Steam Deck dock update. Um, once you have the Steam Deck dock uh, already updated and the whole system has been restarted and reapplied, you want to go to display, and under display, you're going to want to look at these settings here uh, called um, enable HDMI CEC support. So you want to turn this on to yes and wake TV when device resumes from sleep to yes. So these two options are only available in the beta. They're not um, available in the, the actual um, uh, stable build. So unfortunately, when they roll these updates out, I hope that the stable build will get them. But right now, the, the build that's currently available, the stable build does not have these, unfortunately. Um, there are a couple more nuances you're going to have to do. So let's just go through this. So once you've enabled all of this, you will then connect your Steam Deck dock um, HDMI um, so I'll, I'll just a little bit of a background. So this Sony receiver called STRAN1000, that is what it is right here. It's got a lot of awesome inputs in the back, right? It's got um, HDMI inputs for game. And so what I was doing, which so what wasn't working was I was connecting this dock to the back of the receiver. There's an input called um, uh, game input, um, which is where you normally would plug in any kind of console and then it's got inputs for like the DVD players and all that kind of stuff. So the deck uh, does not play at all with the receiver. It does not play well with the receiver. It's glitchy, it's buggy, and it's very inconsistent. And it was just a, a pain to do it because like it just doesn't power on the TV. It doesn't power on the AVR. So I just couldn't get the CEC function to work. So what you need to do is instead of going to the back of the receiver, you're gonna go directly into the, from the back of the dock to the back of your TV. And make sure you find an input that's like, a, you know, a 4K input, high refresh rate. This is an OLED panel, so it's got 120 hertz input in there. So I got this, the deck plugged into the back of that input. Um, and then once you do that, when you power on the the deck, the TV will then automatically kick in, which is what I showed you in the beginning of the video. There are a couple other things you need to do. So this is a, this is a Sony TV, LG has its own setting, uh, but when you're on the Sony TV, there's a couple things you need to check. So if we go to the settings button for um, pictures, I'm gonna navigate here. Um, 
so obviously for low latency, you're gonna wanna keep the picture mode to game. Um, so do that. And then the other one is video signal. Um, let me just make sure I'm on the right one. Sorry, there's a, we'll go to this setting. We'll go to display and sound. And then there is a picture setting that you need to make sure that um, that your settings for the picture is standard mode um, and not the uh, VRR. So for the Sony, there's a VRR refresh panel mode. I'm actually having a hard time trying to find it right now on the, on the uh, settings, but uh, it's there. I think I may have to switch to uh, to the receiver here and look at this one second. Yeah, no. Anyway, so it's on the on the Sony TV. You want to make sure you go into settings and then the HDMI uh, picture setting for the source that you have is set to VRR. And that should work. And so, um, yeah, as you can see, when we wake the steam up, the TV will then turn on, which will then turn on the AVR which will then switch the source to the HDMI source that's plugged in. And that's how that works, all right?